327, 328. Oh, okay. My bad, I didn't even know you were there. What's going on guys? This is your motivation guy, that's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Listen, I love gaming, but we gotta stay active. We gotta stay active. My three favorite things is, is gaming, obviously, staying active, exercising, and eating that bunch of crunch. You already know what that is about. So anyways, I wanna talk about the two best pros in the world on the controller game, man, and that is Unknown Army and Skull. Today, we're gonna be putting them against each other and we're gonna see which one comes out on top because both of them, man, super talented and amazingly unique, all right? So you gotta stick around for the whole entire video to see who's gonna go up on top. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, it's time to scream this out. Listen, I know some of you guys have been getting in trouble for screaming in your house. I don't care, you need to scream this out. It's time to sit back, come on, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy, who's the loudest, who's the loudest? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. The past few weeks of competitive Fortnite, controller players have been dominating the scene. With more and more pro controller players placing exceptionally in high level tournaments, it's raised a big question, guys. Who is truly the best controller player? After months of watching controller players compete and even get chosen over the keyboard and mouse players to be duos for top level pros, the controller input has gained massive attention. You know, well-known people such as Tifu and Kanata have gone ahead and chosen controller players to be their duos. Why is this? Why on earth would keyboard and mouse players who have been competing against others on the same input all of a sudden decide to drop their duos and pick up controller players? Well, to put it simply guys, these controller players have not only risen to the top of the controller player base, but also the entire pro Fortnite scene. Even without their keyboard and mouse partners, Scope and Unknown compete neck and neck to get better placements and solos where they've easily gotten top five and even first place in multiple different events. Truly proving their skill amongst not just controller players, but keyboard and mouse as well. Also, if you want to learn how to play exactly like the pro players, such as Unknown and Scope, check out ProGuys.com where we have the best coaches in the world. Sign up for our membership today and get exclusive access to master courses by players like Benji and Mongrel. If you want to go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of competitive gameplay that you need to know in order to succeed, head on over to our Pro Guys website and be sure to sign up and start improving today. Speaking of improvement, all right guys, <laughs> let's take a look at Scoped. Scoped was perhaps one of the fastest growing pros in terms of recognition. Out of nowhere, guys. Tifu had decided to take in Scope and chose him as his pro duo for events and tournaments such as FNCS. Before this, Scope wasn't necessarily a mainstream player. He was talented though, but he didn't have the name or the talent he has now. But after just a few weeks of playing alongside Tifu and really focusing on his competitive skills, Scope rose to the top and even started winning solo cash cups consistently. Before duoing with Tifu, Scope had placements and earnings, but not even close to the extent he has now. After almost three months of playing and improving alongside Tifu, woo, big difference. It could even be argued that Scope has become better than Tifu himself. But uh, we'll say that for another video. Okay, so what has made Scope so good? Good question. Well, for starters, Scope was already a talented controller player, but to a certain extent. You know, he had incredible aim, very precise and sharp edits, and building skills that got the job done. He wasn't necessarily a creative warrior or a mechanical genius like Faye Sway, but I mean, he was an intelligent player with a great game sense and aim. But what he lacked was pro-level experience. You know, what many people, you know, tend to not realize is that pro-level players don't play the same kind of game that up-and-coming players do. Pros have access to resources such as pro scrims, you know, coaching from other experienced pros, and insanely talented duos that can teach them things they didn't already know themselves. But perhaps the most important out of all these things, in Scope's case, is the pro scrims and his duo. Scope didn't have access to things such as a pro cord, you know, which is a Discord server that is invite only, which has only the top rated pros. These players don't deal with griefing and are consistently playing against the highest level of opponents, making them exponentially better with every single game. So being Tifu's duel almost instantly gets him into these pro level practice games and gives him a surge of new experience he didn't have before. While on the other hand, all right, so being duels, you know, with a player like Tifu teaches him things that he didn't know before. Tifu being a World Cup qualifier and obviously an extremely experienced pro who's been playing and competing in Fortnite for years now brings experience and knowledge to a player who's already talented and has tons of potential, which is a melting pot for success. 
So now you know how Scope became such a good competitive player and where his hype really comes from. But now let's talk about what exactly his play style is and what the things about him make him so good. You guys wanna know? Here we go. Scope is a very aim reliant player, right? He'll be able to take many engagements that could be considered 50-50s and turn them into guaranteed kills. He does this because his aim is almost always better than the players he's coming up against. This has caused many keyboard and mouse players to complain about the strength of aim assist. But the truth is that casual players on console and controller simply just can't aim like pro level controller players. <laughs> Meaning, you know, it's Scope's raw talent and practice with aiming that has gotten him so far. Scope is also a linear player too, like which is interesting seeing that many pro controller players nowadays have made the switch from legacy and exponential. Linear gives Scope more control over edits and building due to the fast and instantaneous nature of linear. But what's funny is, you know, one of linear's main disadvantages is that it's not as good for fine aiming when being compared to exponential. So how is Scope's aim so good? Well, Scope plays on a sensitivity of 0.42, which is very low. This balances the quick input of linear and adds its slow turning speed, which gives him the ability to really track and follow his opponents. Which brings us to the next aspect of Scope's gameplay. Scope utilizes tracking more than flicking. Tracking is where, you know, a player keeps their aim on it as close to as possible to their opponent, right? Throughout the duration of the fight. Flicking, on the other hand, is, you know, where a player may turn and twist their screen a lot. But when it comes time to do damage, they do a quick flick of the stick, which quickly snaps their target to their opponent. Flicking isn't bad, but tracking is just much more consistent and it could do a lot more damage. Now that we've gone over Scope's talents and the precursor to them, let's take a look at Unknown and see who truly comes out on top. Okay guys, so since we're talking about being on top, it's a good time to mention that when it comes to controller consistency, whew, Unknown is the clear champion. Unknown has been placing man, he's been winning, and he's been competing in high level tournaments and events for many months now. But he's also talented at other things such as, you know, 1v1s and wagers. And one really, really interesting aspect of his gameplay is that you know, he can actually pick up a keyboard and mouse and still dominate. <laughs> Although it is important to keep in mind that he's obviously not as good on keyboard and mouse as he is on controller. So what makes Unknown so good and so consistent? Well, <laughs> for starters, I mean, Unknown has been known for being a very accurate and aim intensive player, right? Similar to Scope. He was always known for his aimbot like aim and his ability to absolutely laser people back when he was on Legacy. This and his incredible reaction time and an ability to forward think and predict all contributed to his ability to dominate high level players in mid game fights and box fights. Unknown was the king of W King, easily predicting, you know, doing extreme damage with every shot and barely missing, man. But the main difference between Unknown and Scoped comes with the removal of Legacy. Unknown, knowing that his whole career was based on his mastery of legacy, kept him on exponential once legacy was removed. This helped Unknown stay consistent as his change wasn't as major as some other people's was. Scoped, on the other hand, had made the change to linear, which caused him to have, you know, to take some time to readjust and essentially relearn and rebuild his aiming skills. And due to this, Unknown was able to stay consistent and continue to dominate and finish out on top of the leaderboards even after the change. You know, while the other controller players continued to switch to linear, Unknown stayed, making him not only consistent, but one of the consistent out of all the controller pros. And while we're talking about aiming, we gotta do a quick look at Unknown's aiming style. Unknown has a tendency to flick more, you know, which would seem like it would impact his consistency in fights, but his aim tracking is still without a doubt, guys, one of the best on the input. And pairing his fast reaction flicks with very quick edit resets and zero ping, Unknown is a force to be reckoned with, man, when it comes to box fights and close range encounters. But all of these topics only have to do with mechanics. But what about Unknown's game sense and his other talents? In very recent weeks, you know, Unknown has started to be seen destroying cups and tournaments with his dual Kanata. Unknown and Kanata are perhaps one of the best duels in the world right now. Kanata being an extremely high sensitivity keyboard and mouse player, you know, whereas Unknown is a much slower and more accurate player, making them seem, you know, unfit as a duo, but in reality, yo, their differences are what makes them so unique. Kanata has amazing decision making and rotational skills, especially in the end games and in sticky situations where, you know, materials need to be conserved. Unknown, on the other hand, is an expert at W King the early and mid game. In order to just pick up high kills while constantly upgrading his weapons and refreshing his materials with every single encounter. 
So, you know, playing with Kanata and, you know, other in-game leaders has taught Unknown many tricks for dominating the in-game, making him an even deadlier player as he becomes not only good at W King, but also being an in-game lead and making game-winning decisions. All right, guys, so now that we've gone over Unknown and what makes him an amazing player, let's go ahead and see who truly is the best between Scoped and Unknown. Very recently, Scoped and Unknown Army had a 1,000 creative 1v1 wager. In this battle, Unknown came out on top and defeated Scoped, winning the prize and prestige when it comes to mechanical skill. This tells us that Unknown does indeed have better mechanics than Scoped when it comes to their, you know, raw controller talent. But keep in mind, guys, that the score was very close <laughs> and some of the matches played involved Unknown being on keyboard and mouse. So this data isn't necessarily 100%, but, you know, it can be inferred from this recent matchup that Unknown was dominating, especially with the three to one lead that he had before he switched to keyboard and mouse. So does this make him the better player? Well, to put it simply, uh, no. <laughs> Creative 1v1s and, you know, competing to be the best in pro level events and tournaments require extreme skill sets that simply do not exist in creative. Meaning that, you know, although Unknown may have better mechanics on controller, he's not necessarily the better player. In fact, you know, Scope is an extremely smart controller player who's not only good at W King, but also at being an end game lead during the end game and making the game winning decisions completely on his own. Scope's rate of improvement and his ability to become good at multiple different aspects of the game, which are, you know, critical critical to competitive play make him the better player of this exact time. Sure, you know, Unknown has played better over time, I get it. But during Chapter 2 Season 2 of Fortnite, Scoped has gone through an evolution that has easily set him on top when it comes to the level of play that he has during competitive events and tournaments. And one way these can be seen is by his passing of his own duo, Tifu, in terms of skill and IQ in a short period of time. And with that, we like to clearly say that Scope is indeed the winner of this extremely close debate. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to keep grinding. Never stop, never stop practicing. Hey, we can always get better, right? Let's take it to the next level, man. Not only in this game, but also in life. We hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what you guys thought and what you would like to see next. We strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor by liking this video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love by using code ProGuys in the item shop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.